exciting to be here at the first DryCon. How did you guys decide to come out here and, and showcase your, your book? Well, the book is about drag queen detectives, so when we saw that they were having a drag convention, we thought, well, you know, what better way to do it than come here? Yeah. It's been great. Well, tell us a little bit more about what the book is all about. Well, the book is about two drag queens in Miami who are sort of accidental detectives. Our friend Pablo here is, yeah. grew up in Miami, <laughs> so he th we thought he would be a great, you know, addition to the booth for the book. But they're accidental detectives, they kind of fall into a little bit of a mystery. They find this really expensive shoe under a dumpster in a back alley. And they, one of them thinks, no, 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 something went wrong here. All his friends say, no, it's nothing, don't worry about it. But he knows something, so he goes on kind of a Cinderella investigation to find that girl who lost that shoe. And that's kind of how the mystery starts. Oh, wow, that's so exciting. I, is, is Pablo one of the prizes of the, of the finding out who, who, gets, who owns the shoe? Are, are you? <laughs> I don't know. I, I might be behind door number one. You never know. <laughs> Tell us, if you were to choose any of RuPaul drag, ways, drag queens, would you? Is there anybody that you'd want to be in a in a film version of your book? That's a tough one because <laughs> the you know the the characters are so specific in terms of like their their stature. You know, they have and they have their own personalities. The drag queens have their own personalities. I think we probably have to get an actor because I don't. Sh all of these girls are big personalities in the show, and I think they would probably all want to play themselves. Now, how did that come into your mind to, to write something like this? I mean, uh, you know, there's a lot of detective stories, but drag queen detectives? Well, actually, it came into my mind in Brazil after a whole round of caipirinhas with friends. We were staying at this hotel, and all the little bungalows had names of sea creatures. And one of my friends was staying in the starfish bungalow, and one was in the sunfish bungalow. And so after a whole bunch of drinks, we thought, ha ha, they sat sounds like two drag queen names. And I thought, sunfish and starfish, tropical drag queen detectives. And so it percolated in my brain for a couple of years, and then this is what came out. It's really great. So uh, where could they find the book? Is it, is it available on Amazon, yeah, I, the, I, the, the print book is available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, all the online retailers. The ebook right now is only available in Kindle. And have you been getting any rave reviews or any anybody been talking about it now or or just people here are they pretty interested? Well, people pick up people pick it up and they look at the cover and they laugh, which is what I wanted when I wrote it. It's a fun, lighthearted book. It just came out in April, so we've gotten a couple of really good reviews. One, a recent one from Progressive Pulse magazine. People like it. They read the they read the back, they laugh, and that's really all I wanted from it. I guess they're also looking at Pablo too. Yes, they're looking at Pablo too. <laughs> I mean, I I am very cold right now. I, <laughs> you may not be able to see it, but I am wearing something underneath. <laughs> now, how exciting for uh, for Watson to decide to bring you on board and and help promote this book? I thought it was a great idea when they reached out to me. I said the book's called Tropical Drag Queen Detectives. I said I know all my friends are drag queens, but I'm not a drag queen. You know this, right? And when they explained the book to me, I was like, oh, it's perfect. So they said, you know, we need a South Beach. Uh, South Beach boy with a nice bronze tan to play the lifeguard and I was like okay I can do that so and I mean what what better place to be than Dracon all these girls are, are friends of mine so it's it's fun to to have an excuse to be here for two days yeah with yeah. Wallace of course and, and the other thing is with to, um, all sales during Dragcon for the last two days we're donating 15% of sales to Cindy Lauper's True Colors Fund which is a really great cause. They work on reducing homelessness among LG LGBT youth. And so it's, it's something people should get schooled about, know about, and support True Colors Fund if you can. We're doing it here, and we're having fun. Yeah, of course. It's definitely, it's raising money for a great cause, you know. And then lastly, uh, do you have any upcoming, uh, have you been writing on another project or you have something going on there? It's, it's, right now it's planned as a series of three, and the next one hopefully will come out next year. And uh, we'll let you know what it's about. It's in the it's in the works. And lastly, if uh, so, if you have any social media sites or website you want to shout out, and then also your Pablo. Yeah, the the website is dragqueendetectives.com. Um, hashtag dragqueendetectives on Instagram and Twitter, and Pablo. And also the uh, the Twitter handle is at dragqueendetectives. The Instagram, I'm sorry, the uh, Instagram handle is at dragqueendetectives. The Twitter handle is uh, at dragqueendetect. My Instagram handle is at Pablo Hernandez Official, and my Twitter handle is at Pablo, is at Pablo Hernandez and the number seven. Yeah.
So you both be hanging out over in South Beach? Yes, uh -huh. absolutely. <laughs> that was absolutely. that was that was our stomping ground at one point. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Of it was course. great meeting you. Take care.